Hey guys, welcome back to the e-commerce with Golang project series. Uh, we were working in our buy item from cart <coughs> function and we have found the cart total. Now let's create a variable called get user cart. And <coughs> we'll say that this, now we'll have to work with this current results uh, variable. So we'll say, current results dot all and percent get user card. Okay, so uh, we, we have received our current results, which is basically the addition of all the items um, and card items. But that data, we want uh, to convert it into something that we can process with using Golang. So that's why we use this all function and we'll say if error is equal to and we'll handle the error out here itself so we'll say if error is not equal to nil panic error so whatever you get back from mongodb now you want to be able to work with it that's why we have converted into uh, data that's uh, you know easily accessible like workable with golang <clears throat> let's create a variable called total price let's of int 32 and uh, we'll range whatever user card that we have now, we'll range over that. So get user card, okay? So let's range over it. So we'll say range get user card. And we don't have any need for the iterator, so we'll put a blank character there. But we do have a need for the user underscore item. And here we'll say price equal to user underscore item total. And total underscore price equal to price dot int 32. <clears throat> so in price, you uh, are able to get the uh, total basically so we've found the total this total the variable or the value of total has been introduced by us only this grouping in this group um, you know query we introduced the total uh, variable which is basically going to be the sum of the all the prices of the all the items in the user card okay and that's what we got now in this price and total price is basically the price that you got converted with in 32 so you have the total price here in the variable called total price. Now, what you'll do is you'll take your order card. And so if you look at your order card, right? This has a variable called price. So to find that price, we had to do all of this. We have to do so much, right? Just to find, like till, till here we, had, we were done with payment method, but we had to do all of this just to get to the price field for the order. So we'll say order card dot price is equal to integer total underscore price. And now we'll create our filter and update. Why? Because we want to uh, update the orders, right? So we'll say user collection dot update many context filter and comma update so um, we'll say filter is equal to bson dot d primitive dot e and the key is underscore id comma value will be id and update so here we'll say bson dot t key will be dollar push comma value is bson dot t 
primitive dot e orders comma value is order dot okay so um, this was our update and out here in update menu we'll pass context filter and this update now you may have noticed that my shirt has changed it's because uh, the first part of this video I was shooting yesterday and now I'm uh, today I'm shooting the other half of this video I was not able to complete it yesterday so let me go through this function quickly what I've, what we've done till now right to buy item from the cart we created uh, we started creating our order cart right our order cart is this struct out here which has an ID order cart order at blah 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 so one by one, we started creating these different fields, order ID, order at, order cart. Order cart, by the way, just make sure it's, uh, till now it's completely empty, right? But all the other values we have uh, filled up. Then what we did was we did this complete aggregation uh, operation to find the total of the, all the items in the cart, okay? And then what we did was we uh, went through, as in we, uh, you know, uh, like ranged over the user cart, right? And then we uh, found the uh, you know total price, and we also converted it into int. Okay, so till now we have the price also. So we have the price also of the order. Now what we can do is we can add these orders, like all the orders that the user places in the order in the user collection itself. So what we've done is we have we have taken the order cart and we have gone to our user collection for that particular user's ID. We have added uh, this in the orders. So every time he places an order, so we'll be adding it in orders, right, for the user. Now the other thing that you can do is you can uh, now once you have or added the orders in the user, we, we know that the order cart is still empty in the sense, uh, even though we know that this user has placed these orders, but what was what is there in the orders? What is there in the cart? Those things you want to add in something called as an order list. Uh, so how do you do that? First, you'll have to find all the data of that user and you'll have to find the data of that user from the database and you'll have to convert it into this uh, models.user right so we'll use we'll be leveraging get cart items this variable to find uh, the data from the database and also to uh, decode it based on uh, that variable so we'll say so firstly I, I think before we do that uh, what i need to do here is I need to, this This might induce an error it's a, it's a database function, right? So we'll handle this error. So we'll say if error is not equal to nil, I'll say log dot print ln error. And now I'll focus on finding the uh, data for that user. So I'll say user collection dot find one pass context pass bson dot d and primitive dot e then you'll pass the key so the key is basically the id and then you'll pass the value which is again id and this thing is uh, you want to decode it using the variable get user items like i said you know get sorry get cart items so you want to pass this model complete model of user model right and you want to pass that and uh, the data that comes back from MongoDB, you want it to be in a format that uh, Golang can understand and work with. So here you'll say ampersand get card items. Now again out here, this function may also return an error. So let's handle that now. So you'll say if error is not equal to nil, log.print ln error. Now, uh, we are supposed to do two more things. Two more things are pending. So one thing that's pending is that our orders list. So we have the orders, but what is, what is there in the orders, right? Like for example, the things that are in the cart. So those things we'll have to, uh, you know, use the user's cart, whatever is there in the cart to transfer it here in that orders list. So that thing is remaining and the second is to empty up his cart. So these two things are remaining. And I'll have to continue this in, a, in the next video. Um, but I hope uh, this is not too much and you're understanding everything till now. You're following along because I'm explaining every single line to you. 
So two more things remaining in this function and then we can move on to the next function.